And then one day, the people of Makkah hear this huge rush of horses and camels coming towards Medina. And they rush out because they think there's an army about to attack Medina. And who is it? So Abu Dhar says to the Messenger of Allah, he said, Messenger of Allah, give me permission to give dawah. So the Prophet ﷺ was cautious because the Muslims were only a handful. Actually, according to some narrations, that Abu Dhar was the fifth person to embrace Islam. Fifth person. So the Prophet ﷺ reluctantly allows him. So he stands by the Kaaba. He says, oh, people of Makkah, people of Quraysh, come to me, listen to my qawl. So they gather around him and then he gives them dawah towards Islam. They began to beat him and beat him until the Prophet Sallallahu uncle Abbas came. He wasn't a Muslim at that time. And he stopped them. And he said, don't kill this man. He belongs to the tribe of Ghifar. He said, at the best of times, it's difficult to get past Ghifar. When your caravan goes to Syria, you think the Ghifar are going to allow you to pass without robbing your caravan if you kill one of their people? So Abu Dhar then goes, he's beaten. Next morning, he's back again. Dawah is at the Kaaba. According to many historians, the first person to give open Dawah is Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anhu. Again, they beat him. And again, Abbas radiallahu anhu comes and he intervenes. So then the message of Allah called him and he said, Abu Dhar, go to your people and call them towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So look at this, fifth person to embrace Islam, Abu Dhar, disappears. The entirety of the Meccan period, there is no sign of Abu Dhar. 13 years, no sign of Abu Dhar. Hijrah. No sign of Abu Dhar. Badr, no sign of Abu Dhar. Uhud, no sign of Abu Dhar. Khandaq, fifth year of Hijrah. Khandaq, no sign of Abu Dhar al Ghifari radiallahu anhu. And then one day, the people of Makkah hear this huge rush of horses and camels coming towards Medina. And they rush out because they think there's an army about to attack Medina. And who is it? Abu Dhar. But not just Abu Dhar, the entirety of the, the, his tribe, the Bani al Ghifar, embraced Islam. And he said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, his, the Ghifar, every single one of the Ghifar. And the Prophet said, Ghafar Allah lahum. May Allah forgive the entirety of Ghifar. And he said, not only that, the message of Allah, you see on the other side, this is the Bani Aslam, huge tribe. The entirety of the Bani Aslam embraced Islam. And the Prophet wasallam said, Salamahumullah, Allah keep the Bani Aslam intact. Look at this, subhanAllah, disappeared for years, came back with the entire tribe embracing Islam. 